Hi guys, it's me Swastik and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a Discord bot dashboard with Python. So let's begin. This series will be focusing on the back end more than the front end. You can probably use some bootstrap and make it look so much better. But for now, this is how it look like. You'll have to log in and once I click on login, I get redirected and I can authorize myself. And when I do that, as you can see, it says I logged in as was.py. I can open my dashboard and or i can log out then it just opens the dashboard and i can choose a guild let's just choose the coding academy i can submit that and this will open up the dashboard for the coding academy and i can now change the prefix so i can change it to something like this update the prefix and if i actually go to discord and if i try pinging the bot and as you can see, the prefix is updated. Let's just check if it works by changing it to something like swas. I go back, ping it again. And as you can see, it works. Before we actually start coding, we'll need to install some modules. Actually, we'll just need to install Flask. We'll be using Flask, which is a web framework and it allows us to make websites. So we'll do pip install Flask and this should install it for you and once it's done you can open your ide or text editor and we can start coding i'll be using sublime text and i also added a folder through this open folder instead of the folder i have a templates folder which will have the html i have a main.py file which will have all our code and oauth.py which will have the code for authentication so let's start with our main.py file from flask we will import flask with f capital now we need to make our app. So app will be equal to flask and we need to give it the file name. So the file name will be underscore underscore name underscore underscore. Let's also run the app. So app dot one. And we can also say that debug equals true. This basically lets us edit our code and it'll automatically update it instead of us having to rerun the server every time. You can actually put this in if the name is equal to main so if underscore underscore name is equal to underscore underscore main we can run the file what this basically does is if we run the file directly only then will it run the app this is useful because if you import the file we don't want the server to run so once this is done we can create our website here so let's create our home page so we will write define home and instead of this we'll need to return either a string we can either return a string with HTML text. So h1 hello, I can write that hi. Now you could do this, but a better way would be to have a function, which is render template, which allows us to actually render HTML files, which will be inside this templates folder. So we can do that instead and render template and we can render index.html index.html. And you'll also need to specify a decorator, which will be app.root. And this will be simply the slash for our home. So let's actually write this index.html. So I just wrote some basic HTML, just HTML, a title, home page, and it just has welcome to coding bot. So let's see if it works. So I'll run the file main.py. So as you can see, I ran the file and now it's live on our local host. Let's just copy this link and let's go there. And as you can see, it just displays the index.html file. Now you can actually change it to say, for example, you can add h1 tags, I guess, h1 and h1, we close that. Let's save it and let's reload this. And as you can see, this works. So now let's actually add a button that will allow us to log in with Discord. So I'll just paste this in here. This just basically says click here to log in and it's a anchor tag with the href. Now this allows us to actually pass in this discord URL as a parameter. So if I have discord underscore URL and for now, let's just give it Google, for example, HTTPS, just github.com, I guess this works as well. And as you can see, this will actually redirect us to this URL that has been passed in through this render template function. Then we have a button tag that just says login with discord so let's see if it works 
I'll just go here and I'll click on login with Discord. And as you can see, it redirects us to GitHub. You can actually change this to whatever you want here, but we'll be actually writing the OAuth here. Let's actually write our OAuth.py file. So in the OAuth.py file, I have imported requests. If you haven't already installed requests, you can pip install requests. Now I also have an OAuth class, which basically has some variables like client ID, client secret, redirect URI, scope, discord login URL, discord token URL, and discord API URL. You can find this in your applications, which will be in discord.com slash developers slash applications. This is for my coding bot. I can copy the client ID and I can also copy the client secret. Don't worry, I will regenerate it after this is over. So for the redirect URL, you'll need to actually go to your OAuth2 and you have to add a redirect. And inside of this, you'll need to paste this, which is basically your local host and at port 5000 slash login. So just do that. And once you have that, you can create an OAuth2 URL, which will basically be first you need to select your uh, redirect and then you need to take the identify scope, the email scope and the guild scope. So you have this here, you can copy this and you can come back. You can paste the redirect URL as this exactly the same. Don't need to change anything. Scope can be this as well. Now instead of the discord login URL, you'll need to paste the one that you just copied. Just paste the one. I'm just going to comment this. Just paste the one here. It's basically the same. So I'm just going to uncomment this. Discord token URL can be the same and Discord API URL can be the same as well. So let's write some functions for giving us the access token. Now, what this basically means is once we actually get redirected after we authorize, it gives us a code in the URL, which I'll show you right now. I'll go to, I'll just write a login page. So def login. And inside of here, let's just return success and app dot add app not root. We will say slash login. Let's save it and I'll show you what I mean. So as you can see, when I click on login with Discord, it actually takes me back to GitHub because I didn't really import the stuff that I needed to import. I need to import from what um, import what exactly so here we'll have the discord url can be basically just this uh what dot discord login url let's save it and let's see if it works okay so i just needed to change this from capital a to small a and let's see if it works let's log in with discord and as you can see we are redirected to this link here we can authorize ourselves and this is what i was trying to show you guys as you can see this gives us the code in the url itself so we can actually use get and we can find this code. So if I go back here in home, actually it redirects us to login. So we can do this stuff here. We can say that our code is equal to request. Um, we actually didn't import this. So render template and request. And we'll say request dot get dot args dot get code. So this will give us the code from this. It'll pull it from this URL and we'll have it here and we'll also make a function that will give us the access token. So access token will be OAuth, uh, if I just have OAuth dot get, I guess I'll call it get access token. And we'll write this function with the code. So let's create this function here. Now it needs to be a static method. Now why does it need to be a static method? Well, it allows us to do something like OAuth dot get access token instead of having to create an instance we can directly use this so i'm just going to paste this command in you know, this function in what this basically does is just gets the code and we need to create a payload which has the client id our client id the secret and the grant type is authorization code the code is the code that was passed in the redirect uri is the redirect uri and the scope is the scope after that we post it to the url the token URL and we get the data, which is the payload. We convert it to a JSON and we get the access token. Once we have the access token, we return that. Now we actually need to store this in the session and we'll actually import this session module. And inside of the login, we'll actually store this. Let's just say session token equals 80 and we can return success. You'll also actually need to say app config and secret 
key equals and it can be anything you want i can just spam characters here or you could just have something meaningful it just doesn't matter you can have anything you want here i'm just gonna keep test one two three and once i have this here this should actually store and let's see if it works so i log in with discord i authorize myself and it works it's a success so to actually check that it works we can get we can write another function which will basically give us the username and the tag so for that i'm just going to paste another function in this is basically another static method with get user underscore json with the access token we have the url which is the api url slash users at me and the headers are basically authorization the bearer is the access token after we get the url and we convert it to a json that will be the user object and then we return that so inside of the main.py file we can say that oauth.get user json and we can pass the access token in here and we can say as our user object so user dot we can actually say the username and the user id so the username and the user id will be user dot get the username and user dot get the discriminator and we can print instead of actually printing i mean we can return success logged in as the username and the user id user underscore id and we can add an f f string it let's see if it works so we log in with discord we authorize ourselves and as you can see it worked success logged in as swastopi and this is it for part one i'll be making the rest of the dashboard in the later parts in the series so if you did enjoy this video hit the like button and subscribe and you can comment below if you had any doubts or you can join my discord server the link will also be in the description below and i'll meet you in the next one goodbye